about 5 a.m. and uh, we're just getting the day cranked up and uh, ready to go. You know, the word of the day today is adjust. That's right, the word of the day is adjust. And we're just gonna kinda go through life and talk about how we have to adjust sometimes our perspective, sometimes our thoughts, sometimes the way we approach the day. Because in a lot of aspects, I really feel like the world throws stuff at us and we have to adjust to it or we're gonna get taken down by it. And you know, our body is an amazing system that is able to adapt and to adjust. And if we can keep the body in the right alignment mentally and physically, then we can adjust to anything that's thrown at us. So it's about five, like I said, we're off to the gym and uh, yeah, pick it up. just finished up my workout this morning literally coming right back out into the car and interesting happened this guy came up to me and says hey you know you were flying around this place man you're doing all kinds of different movements you know why are you doing that what are you training for and I kind of looked at the guy and I was kind of amazed because I was like what do you mean what am I training for and he was like, yeah, aren't you training for something? Like, are you doing Iron Man or something? I said, no, man, I'm training for life. Life. You know, when people come into to my office as a chiropractor, 90% of the time, they don't hurt themselves doing any sort of big macro trauma. I mean, like big slips and falls or anything. It's micro trauma. It's, I, hey, I, you know, I bent over to uh, pick up a cup and my back went out on me. Or, hey, you know, I twisted over in the middle of the night and I got a pain in the middle of my back. You know, that is caused because muscles aren't firing in conjunction with one another. And when they don't fire, the next thing that happens, if that muscle doesn't fire, the next muscle that's in line must take the brunt of that force. And in many cases, it can't. When that happens, then it's moved on to the bone or the capsule or the ligament level. And that's when people, quote unquote, blow their back out or they feel a rib pop out or what have you. So when you're in the gym, I really encourage you, do full body movements. Move your body, jump, lunge, run. Do stuff that's going to take you through the full gamut, guys. Don't just sit there and just do arm curls or just hamstring curls or knee extensions. To be honest, that doesn't do a whole heck of a lot. You got to put your body through the full ranges of motion. Remember, if you were born 2,000 years ago and you're living out in the woods, what would you be doing? You'd be picking up rocks. You'd be picking up pieces of wood, dragging it back to your campsite, chasing down bears, etc. Our bodies have not evolved that much since that time, guys. So those types of movements are the movements that you need to do while you work out. So again, what am I training for? Life. Hey, buddy. You ready for a great day today? Yeah. Do you know what today is? Uh-huh. What? It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, you're right. Uh-huh. Do you also know what date it is? Um, it's Wednesday, 7th, December 2016. Wow, that's awesome, dude. Good job. You know, on this day a long time ago, people in Hawaii defended our country. Did you know that? Yeah, it's called Pearl Harbor Day. A lot of brave people stood up for us so we have the opportunity to live free. Is that pretty cool? It's pretty cool, huh? So say thank you to all of our veterans for Pearl Harbor. Thank you. Love it. Yeah, he's excited. Have a great day today, bud. Good morning. Hey, Bo, good morning. How are you? Good, how are you doing? What are the videos on YouTube? Mm hmm they will be. Yeah! You'll be famous, see? Yeah. <laughs> We look at everything, your feet, your knees, your pelvis, your spine, your shoulder, your elbow, and your wrist. Literally every single joint of your body, a chiropractor can assess. Getting cold out here today, I'll tell you what. 
just walking back to work right now. You know, people ask me a lot of times like, hey Bo, during, during the winter, what can I do to, to keep myself healthy? And I always tell them that one of the great things that they can do is increase the amount of vitamin D that they have, or that at least they're taking. And people ask me, well, why vitamin D? You know, what vitamin D does is it actually increases something called a peptide in your body. And that vitamin is, um, gives you the ability to fight off microbial infections. So like different bacteria and what have you. Now, most people say, well, Bo, I go outside, that's enough vitamin D, right? Well, if you think about it, actually, it's not. You know, back in the day, our vitamin D, like if we were back in, you know, a couple hundred years ago, that came from uh, our FedEx guys right there. <laughs> that vitamin D came from us being bare chested, you know, like cowboys and Indians days were just, you know, sheep clawsing. We were out running around, so our chests were always always open the vitamin D was able to come through through our through our chest and through our skin and and now we just cover it up with clothing and stuff all of the time so we don't really get an opportunity to absorb a lot of vitamin D the second thing is is that the days are a lot shorter right now you know I mean heck I practically wake up it's pitch dark I go work out like you guys are seeing today and uh, you know by the time I get off work from treating patients it's it's dark again so you know, I don't get a lot of time to just get out in the sun and just kind of let it hit my face. So if you're not getting that, you know, at least an hour or two outside, I highly recommend that you supplement with some vitamin D. Uh, about 10,000 I use is probably where I would suggest that you start with and kind of see, see how the body reacts from that. Anyway, just a re random thought that I had. All right, so we're in office here. Hey, what's going on? This is Nick, everyone. Hey. Nick is my video guy for all of my stuff. Probably one of my really good friends too. He helps me out with all my my big production stuff that you guys see. Making me feel short. Yeah, there you go, so right? I'm not that short. So what did we just film? Uh, we're filming a video, five things most people don't know about chiropractic. Ooh. Because dang, when you start learning about this this practice, you kind of get borderline obsessed with it. <laughs> like, what has been the biggest surprise that you that you have seen so far? That it, even when I feel sick, mm -hmm. if I even I just come here and I feel like I even heal faster. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to say. When they walk, ah, the five things while every, <laughs> okay, five things while every person should see a chiropractor.